Question number 11 deals with circles. The first thing that you have to remember is that if the equation of a circle is in the format of x squared plus y squared plus g right f plus fx plus gy plus h equals to 0 in that case we can write that the center of this particular circle is going to be the coefficient of x divided by minus 2 and the coefficient of y divided by minus 2 so that is going to be the center now in case of the radius what's going to happen is that the radius would be equals to square root of the x coordinate of the center so let me call that cx whole square plus the x y coordinate of the center let me call that cy whole square minus the constant here the constant is h so that is the rule for finding the center and radius uh, when you have the equation of particular format of the equation of the circle given so in question number a1 what we have we have this equation and we have to find the coordinates of q which happens to be the center so the center would be equals to so coefficient of x is minus 6 divided by minus 2 coefficient of y is plus 2 divided by minus 2 so that is the rule so this will turn out to be 3 and minus 1 in question number 2 we have to find the radius and the rule for the radius is square root of uh, x coordinate of the center whole square plus y coordinate of the center whole square minus the constant now the constant means the term without any variable so which is plus 5 so it would be minus 5 that turns out to be 3 square is 9 plus minus 1 square is 1 minus 5 and that turns out to be 10 minus 5 is 5 square root of 5 is the radius now for the next question question number B okay so what do we know so far so we know what the center is the center is 3 minus 1 we also know what the radius is the radius is square root of 5 and this portion this part is also square root of 5 these are radii before we start on question number B we need to know certain things the first thing we need to remember is that when you have a circle and there is a tangent drawn to a circle then the radius and the tangent makes 90 degree that's the first thing we need to know the next thing we need to remember is that when we have two tangents drawn from a single point so this is the center so this is 90 degree this is 90 degree you have to remember this tangent is equal to this tangent and if you draw a line here these two parts these two triangles would be exactly the same so we can think of these as you know symmetric so each of the triangles would have the equal area so if we find one of the area and we multiply by two we'll get the entire area so now let's see how we can do question number B question number B we have a tangent this is a tangent TN and then we have another tangent uh, TM so these are two tangent that means these two are equal and we have to find the angle MNQ so M so MQN MQN we have to find the angle MQN and ultimately we have to show that the value of that angle in radian is 7.2.498 uh, so that's what we have to do so what we can do is we can draw a triangle think of half of it so let me draw half of the triangle so half of the triangle would be this and this is 90 degree because the tangent and radii makes 90 degree so this is n this is t this is q so the radii uh, radius is square root of 5 and since t is 8 4 and q is 3 minus 1 we can actually find the length of tq so using the length of a uh, line so that means tq equals to square root of difference of x is going to be 8 minus 3 whole square plus difference of uh, y is going to be 
4 minus minus 1 is 4 plus 1 whole square. That turns out to be 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 square plus 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 square. That is 25 plus 25 is 50. And if we simplify this, square root of 50. Let's not simplify this. We can keep this. So square root of 50. So we know that this particular length is square root of 50. And we know this is uh, square root of 5. Now, in order to find this angle, we can use, let me call this angle theta. So, we can use uh, adjacent by hypotenuse. We can use, so, in the triangle QNT, it's a right angle triangle. So, we can use cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. So, therefore, theta equals to cos inverse of square root of 5 divided by square root of 50. Remember, you have to convert the calculator to the radian mode. So let me convert it to radian mode. So radian mode is, so now it is radian mode. So let's do square root of 5 divided by square root of 50 and cos inverse of that that is 1.249 1.249 radian now remember what we did is half of it so the entire angle over here has to be multiplied by 2 because they're symmetric so what we can write is therefore angle MQN is 2 times 1.249 and that turns out to be times 2 2.498 2.498 and that's exactly what we had to show 2.498 radian it is shown now the next question we have to find the area of the shaded region now again uh, remember we're going to take half of it because they're symmetric and we can multiply by 2 so half of it looks like this this is going to be uh, th this is the sector so if we take this this is the center and we have to take the sector then it would be something like this this portion this this is go this is going to be the sector area that we have to find and from the entire area of the triangle uh, we can subtract the area of the sector so let's first write down the value of the sector what it would be so it turns out to be this question number C so we have area of sector remember we're taking half of it we're just talking about half of this region this this area this particular area so this area of the sector is going to be pi r square radius is square root of 5 multiply by theta so the theta remember half of it we're taking 1.249 divided by 360 since it is in radian i'm going to write 2 pi instead of 360 so this pi and this pi cancels so this would turn out to be square root of 5 whole square is 5 so 5 multiply by 1.249 and divided by 2 and it is 3.1225 3.1225 that is the area of the sector so the area of the triangle so area of the entire triangle so of the triangle q n t is going to be half a b sine theta so half a is square root of 5 so this length and b is square root of 50 and sine theta that is going to be this particular angle which is 1.249 so using the calculator in the radian mode what we get is half into square root of 50 square root of 5 into square root of 50 so square root of 50 into sine of 1.249 and that turns out to be 7.4999 7 7.4999 so now let's move on to over here so the shaded region the shaded area so shaded 
region R has this particular area. So area of shaded region R is the bigger triangle is 4.4999 minus the sector 3.1225. Remember the shaded area is twice. There is another one over here. So since it is like this, so it has to be it has to be multiplied by 2 so multiplied by 2 so that turns out to be 7.4999 minus 3.1225 multiplied by 2 and that is 8.7548 so three significant figure would be 8.75 8.75 and that's it